Trade balance has been in decline until the first semester, and this is due to the high export value at 25.57 million U.S. dollars in comparison to the import value, which is at 21.35 million U.S. dollars. According to Statistics Indonesia, since May 2020, the last year, Indonesia's trade balance has been in decline over two years due to the fact that the export value is much higher than the import value. The surplus has been going for 27 consecutive months. According to Satyanto, Deputy of Statistics, Distribution and Services of Statistics Indonesia, the government is in the development of export performance in Indonesia. The total export value in Indonesia for the month of July this year reached 25.57 million US dollars or 32.03% per annum. And export performance went on a decline of 2.2% to accumulate the export value reached 166.7 million US dollars. The government also hopes Indonesia will continue to monitor the decline and for Indonesian export performance to stabilize. On Tuesday, Indonesia's President Joko Widodo delivered his financial note speech at the annual session of the People's Consultative Assembly. Donning traditional Paksian clothing from Bangka Blitung Province, President Widodo delivered his annual state budget speech in the eve of Indonesia's Independence Day. President Widodo noted that Indonesia had succeeded in handling the COVID-19 pandemic, announcing that Indonesia is one of the five countries with the highest vaccination rates in the world. He also announced that Indonesia achieved a state budget surplus of 106 trillion rupiah, or about 7.2 billion US dollars in 2022. Indonesia will allocate budget spending of 3,041.7 trillion rupiah next year. The state budget will be at 2.85% of GDP, below 3% in line with the government mandate, stated in law number no. 2 of 2020. Indonesia will also continue to spend large amounts on energy subsidies, allocating 210 trillion rupiah. In line with World Bank's projection, Indonesia is projecting economic growth of 5.3% in 2023. Inflation is projected to be at a low level of 3.3%, while the rupiah is projected to be at 14,750 per US dollar. The Indonesian crude price index is projected to be below $100 a barrel, but the oil lifting target is lower than this year at, 600, at 660,000 barrels per day.